Hi, Dennis Ray here. In this video, we will explore Imagine Free, the image and animation viewer. Imagine is similar to EarFan or XM View. It has many of the same features, but is a smaller file. Imagine really is a great way to view and to do some light editing of your images and photos. The program starts with its image browser. System tree is on the left and thumbnails on the right. The menu bar has usual items, file and edit. Then in view, you can select how you want your thumbnails to look on the right side of the page. In options, there are preferences, and there are quite a few there with the different tabs. And these can be for the browser, and then there are some for the viewer too. The thumbnail tab has some interesting settings to be able to select the size of the thumbnails. Imagine can be used as a screen capture tool, and there are some settings for that in the tools area in the menu. Then window, which has the usual items you find in most other programs. Help, which has configured shortcuts. Install plugins, this will list all the plugins that are in the version that you have, either the complete plugin version or if you've installed separate plugins. And then uh, visit website, license and registration. If you go to the website, you can donate to the developer, which is a good idea to keep a great program like this in, in development. Uh, if you donate, you can register for a license, which allows you to get technical support from the developer. If we go to the toolbar, when you hover over each icon, it will tell you what its function is, which makes using Imagine very easy. And the same thing for the bottom status bar. If you hover over the text or the icon, it will tell you what the function is for that. Like and subscribe, you should. Thank you, Yoda. <laughs> if you want to open an image, you can select the thumbnail. And once you've selected it, you can see a bigger view of it down here at the bottom. And to open it, you can hit the eye icon or just double click on the thumbnail. Oh, ain't he a cute baby goat? Uh, the viewer has the standard items you usually find in quality programs like this in the menu bar. Both edit and image will allow you to do some limited editing of your image or photo. And view has most of the standard features you'll find in image viewers. Options has preferences, and this has a few more preferences that you can select from than the browser, which is cool. And tools, which has some very useful items that you can use in there. Window and help, same thing as the browser. And just like a browser, when you hover over the icons in the toolbar, it will tell you what their function is and same thing in the status bar. I have to say, I think the quality of the image in Imagine is very good and uh, really rivals more popular image viewers. These are the websites where you can get Imagine Image Viewer and I'll put links for these in the description below. Uh, first there is the Imagine website itself and uh, this has some screenshots, list of features, uh, license information, and the links where you can download the program, either zip versions or the exec installer versions. And then you can get uh, all plugins included with the versions or just a standard version too. Here's another source for Imagine Image Viewer, and this is MajorGeeks.com. If you scroll down, it has some useful information about the program. Uh, one screenshot and the links that you can use to download the program. That was Imagine, the image and animation viewer. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
Thank you for watching and take care. Bye.